PXE, or Preboot Execution Environment, allows you to boot a device from boot files hosted on your network. To do this, you will need to set up a server to host the bootable images on your network. This can enhance your testing workflow by removing the need for physical boot media for every device. Updating the boot files then only requires the server being updated instead of every individual device. Burn-in test and Memtest86 can both be configured to work with PXE, and we will run through the requirements and process in this video. To achieve PXE server hosting, you will need to set up a server running both TFTP and DHCP. TFTP, Trivial File Transfer Protocol, is used to share the boot images with your device and can be used across many options, such as Windows Server and any Linux server. This tutorial will use a Windows program called Server as it provides a simple graphical user interface to set up a TFTP and DHCP server on Windows for the sake of this demonstration. Noting this, there are a range of other free and open source PXE server hosting options that should work, though most others are command line. To utilize PXE with Memtest86, you require a Memtest86 site license. All necessary files are included in the download link that is emailed after purchase. Memtest86 can be hosted using the server community version. To utilize PXE with Burnin Test, you require a Burnin Test WinPE ISO. For a tutorial on creating a Burnin Test ISO, you can visit our guide on the Passmark website. This is also linked below. In addition, you also require a Server Pro license. To configure Server, you need to unzip your download and copy the Server Pro license if planning to host Burnin Test. You then need to create a new folder for the server root directory. From there, launch server. Once launched, open server settings and enable TFTP server. You will need to set server root directory that you just created and enable standard TFTP security. You then need to enable DHCP server as proxy DHP and enable boot information negotiation later, BINL. Once complete, Close and reopen server to populate the root directory. Once populated, you can close server. To configure Memtest86, you need to unzip your download and extract all of the files. Then, copy all files in the memtest86 site folder and create a memtest86 folder in server root. Paste the memtest86 files in the nwa pxe folder inside server root. Then create a server asset inf text file. Make sure the file extension is INF and not TXT. Once created, open serverasset.inf and add the following config details. Memtest86 setup is now complete.
for a tutorial on creating a burn-in test ISO, you can visit our guide on the Passmark website. This is also linked below. Create a burn-in test folder in server root WIA WDS. Copy these two files from the burn-in test WinPE ISO to the server burn-in test folder. Launch server to host for PXE Boot Media. Your PXE server is now running. UEFI setup will vary greatly for every manufacturer. All or some of the following options may need to be enabled. Here is a sample of booting via PXE. Select PXE from the boot menu. Booting into burn-in test. Booting into Memtest 86. Management Console integrates with Memtest 86 Side Edition and with Burn-in Test. It provides a management level view of your entire testing process and acts as a centralized test reporting and historical record system. Here, you can view test history, see a live test overview, view running tests, and generate test reports by report type. Management Console is currently available for self-hosting, with a cloud version coming soon. As evidenced by this tutorial, setting up PXE boot for Memtest 86 and Burn-in test with server is a straightforward process. One which can be connected with Passmark's Management Console to act as a centralised test reporting and historical record system. For more information on Burn-in test, Memtest 86 or Passmark's Management Console, visit passmark.com.